Hi everyone, welcome back to Transformers Toys for Kids. I want to give a big shout out and thank you to Hasbro for sending me a free copy of this product to check out. This week we're looking at Transformers Rise of the Beast Beast Mode Bumblebee. He is a very large Bumblebee toy. He has three different modes. Your typical robot mode with a cool Energon sword, a vehicle or alt mode, and then this new beast mode. Looks like it has the wings, the bird head popping out of the chest, and then claws on either hand. 19 steps and 15 different sound effects. The bird head also lights up. So let's just open it up and check it out. Beast Mode Bumblebee is unboxed and ready to go. I've put his Energon sword in his hand, so he's ready for battle. But to show you some quick size comparisons, I have the Transforming Mask Bumblebee, who is about the same height but doesn't stand very well. I have Rescue Bots Bumblebee, who is much tinier. And finally, I have One Step Bumblebee. And if we transform him, get his arms down, you can see he's about a head taller than Beast Mode Bumblebee. Bumblebee does have a few sound effects when he's in his robot mode. You just push this button down here. You can see his chest lights up red. It's hard to see with the lights though. Now to get him into his beast mode, all you have to do is squeeze the legs. So here we go. I have no idea why there's a hawk or bird or eagle or whatever it is popping out of his chest, but you also have these wings that pop up in the back and then you can take his forearms and pull out these claws that look kind of like Wolverine claws. Those are pretty nice on either side. And then he has different lights and sounds or different sounds at least when he's in this beast mode. And to get him back into his regular robot mode. And he's back in his robot mode. Now let's get him into his alt or vehicle mode. The first step to get Bumblebee into his vehicle mode is to take his shoulders and unclip them from either side and then take these front two sides and bring them all the way up. Then we're gonna flip it around. We'll bring this part all the way up and then snap it in here on either side like this. Give it a good squeeze. Then we can take the arms and bring them down like this, bring them in, and then the hands just go into these little notches here. This and like this. Tab these little pieces in here and here. Now on to the legs. We're gonna start with both of the feet. So we're going to untab them and bring them up and then untab this one and bring it up. Then you can take this piece, which looks like it's painted, whereas this is yellow plastic, bring it up and then bring the side up because that's attached in there. Then we can take this piece and start forming the back part of the car. We are going to flip it around to this side. And this part has those little notches right there and we're gonna put them right there. So we're gonna hinge it all up like this and slide those notches in right there. And then we're gonna do the same thing for the other side. Then the instructions have you tabbing all of this together at once. And once you get that all tabbed in, it wants you to bring it right back down onto the top. We're gonna give it a few final squeezes. And Bumblebee is in his alt or vehicle mode. You can already hear he's got different sound effects for when he's in this mode. He rolls okay. Sometimes all his wheels don't touch the ground. The one thing I don't like about this alt mode, check out the back. His feet are just hanging out on the back. I really don't know why they decided to do that or why they couldn't have tucked them in a little bit better. But the rest of the car, if we hide this, looks great. That is a great vehicle mode. I just have no idea why his feet need to be hanging out the back. It kind of ruins the whole vehicle mode, which is a great vehicle mode. Finally, you can take the Energon sword 
and you can tab it in on either side. I'm gonna put it on this side because that's what the instructions say. And then let's compare his size to the other bumblebees I showed you earlier. So we have the one-step bumblebee, pretty similar, very different cars. And then of course our rescue bots bumblebee. Overall, some positives for the toy. It has three different modes, lights and sounds. It's a really big toy and it's fairly easy to transform. Some negatives, as you well know, the feet, the giant feet sticking out the back and its price point at $50 is very high. Hey, I hope you enjoyed watching today. As usual, be sure to check out the channel every week for more fun Transformers toys videos.